channel so today's gonna be a little bit of a different video i'm gonna be telling you guys what i like on netflix so i'm gonna include 20 movies that i've seen on netflix that i really really like and as well as five different series that i watched recently and in the past so if you guys want to see what those are definitely keep watching one is you get me that movie starring bella thorne you get me is about um bella thorne is a star she's like kind of obsessed with this guy i don't want to tell you guys the whole movie so she's obsessed with this guy and blank 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 <laughs> happens so yeah it's like a movie about obsession and romance and she wants what she wants and she has to figure out how she's gonna get that and she's just crazy all the way around i do like bella thorne as an actress for sure a lot of people do not like her but i definitely do like her. um the next one is after i actually watched that today because i watched a couple of these videos before i did this and um after was a good movie to me, the trailers was a little bit misleading. The movie's about a boy and a girl in college. Obsession starts to stir up between the two. I'm not gonna tell you guys the whole movie. You gotta go see it, but it was a pretty good movie. Um, I'm gonna start rating them too, I forgot. So I'm gonna rate You Get Me um, probably like a nine out of 10. And after I'm gonna rate that an eight out of 10 because I was a little bit misled by the trailers, like I said. So yeah, we're gonna go to Fall in Our Stars. I'm sure a lot of people seen this movie. Um, it is about two people that meet when they're sick and they do end up falling in love with each other, but obviously they're sick. So it's a little bit of a sad movie. It's like they finally found happiness, but then, you know, I'm not gonna tell y'all the movie. <laughs> but yeah, they finally found happiness. This movie did make me cry a little bit. So be aware, this is a sad movie. So if you're already sad, do not watch this movie because you're gonna get more sadder. So yeah. Fault in Our Stars, definitely check that out. I give that movie a 9 out of 10. The acting was on point. Loved it. I would watch it again, actually. And I was shocked that they had it on Netflix. I've been watch looking for it for so long after I watched it the first time. This movie is 47 Meters Down. I like a lot of shark movies, crocodile movies, things like that. Like a lot of animals, not being killed, but animals killing people for some reason. I don't know why I like that, but I do like it. So 47 Meters Down is about, it's a shark movie about people go to the caribbean they go shark diving and something goes wrong so you gotta watch the movie to figure out what else happens i also saw 47 meters down number two and i believe i like number two better than number one so number one i give that a uh, eight out of ten it's slow moving in the beginning but once they go cage diving that's when all the good stuff starts to happen this is a movie that i'm sure that everybody saw um i'm not the type to like jump on like all this social media stuff people saying oh um this is a big trend on social media y'all should watch this movie y'all should watch this documentary i'm not a big one for that i'll let it die down before i actually go and watch it so i'm not the one to follow a trend i'm more of a trend setter you know this one is bird box so this movie was way better than i thought it was going to be i was actually shocked how good it was it's starring sandra bullock and a bunch of other people i don't remember their names i watched that a couple of like months ago I might actually watch it again y'all know what it's about but it's a horror movie so a lot of blood and a lot of gore so if you don't like that i don't recommend this movie for you i would give that movie a i don't want to say 10 out of 10 because it's not perfect Let's give it a 9.7 out of 10. i'm not a hater but yeah next up is this movie i saw it i'm sure that a lot of you did not see which is hard. it's like a thriller so it's about this girl she has like a house in the woods and we all know that never works out well and she's actually deaf so she cannot hear so She's in the woods minding her own business and one night someone breaks into her house, basically. Remember, she's deaf, so, and there's nobody else around. Her neighbors is far, far out. So she has to figure out how she's gonna survive through this whole situation, being deaf and somebody entering her house that does not belong there. So I would definitely recommend this movie. Um, it's definitely a thriller, so it'll keep you like on the edge of your seat if you're looking for that kind of movie. So Hush, I would give it a I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. So one of my favorite horror movies of all time is Final Destination. Like this movie stuck with me throughout my life, basically. Like anything, anytime I see something weird, I'd be like, Final Destination, that's Final Destination right there. So, um, and my favorite movie, you know they have five movies. So my favorite one out of all of them is the roller coaster one. And if you know me, I talk about this all the time, <laughs> but yeah. I seen it on my birthday in the movie theater 
and i don't want to tell y'all the movie i know y'all saw it before but you know how i have that just a dream scenario like that got me so tight like i was literally sitting there like oh my god like just watching it and stuff like that and it was just a dream and i was like well just a premonition not a dream because it happened so yeah i really wanted them to make another to the actual series but i don't know if they're gonna do that or not it's been years since they made a new one long we're going back to romance <laughs> so the next up is twilight so you know twilight have a lot of different movies first i don't really like jump on a bandwagon either for this i know this is a book um i used to work in the mall and i would go past the theater and see like a line crazy going down the hall and i was like what are they waiting for harry potter no it was twilight so i was like oh it must be really good so i decided to watch it one day and i just loved it my favorite one was the one where edward left her and she was just going through it month after month and having all them crazy dreams right along i don't know if i'll put this in the horror or the kids category but i used to watch this show as a kid i don't know if you guys did too comment down below if you did um this is goosebumps but this is goosebumps number two the movie i just like the way they put everything together in the movie it was really interesting i wasn't gonna watch it at first but then i did watch it and it was really good so i definitely recommend goosebumps number two um it's on netflix right now obviously so yeah i rate that movie actually probably like a 9.5 out of 10 if you're a real goosebumps fan and next is avengers infinity war so i love the avengers series i love anything marvel um spider-man i love dr strange x-men magneto is one of my favorite if you guys know what i'm talking about but yeah avengers affinity war was really really good um and the one before that avengers or after that avengers endgame i wanted to see both of them in the theaters but i didn't get to see neither one and i was disappointed about that but stuff happens you know i'll definitely give that movie a 9.5 out of 10 it's gonna be um a haunted house so i like that movie i like number two better with the annabelle doll so yeah i like that a haunted house two better than number one but it's because they had the annabelle doll in there and the annabelle movie is like one of my favorite movie like horror movie series and it was just so funny like how he was like treating a doll and everything like that so that really had me cracking up. another horror movie which is insidious and if you're super scared of horrors i don't advise you to watch this i'm a big fan of like paranormal movies and ghosts and haunted and everything like that so yeah insidious is a very scary movie so i would advise you not watch it if you do get scared easily it's true for dare that one i like that one a lot actually more than i thought i would it's pretty self-explanatory they play true for dare with a little bit of a twist and yeah people start to get killed up is gonna be a different type of movie it's called roxanne roxanne it's about all the struggles she went through to become a rap artist i know probably people don't really hear of her a lot but definitely check out the movie is very like realistic and relatable to life if you grew up in that type of situation which i definitely can relate to that movie roxanne roxanne definitely go check that out moving right along to a like a more light-hearted movie which is boss baby i did find that movie funny it's like a cartoon movie so if you have kids you could watch with them i'm a big kid so i watched it myself <laughs> but yeah boss baby is definitely a funny movie i definitely would recommend that if you need something to make you laugh especially through these hard quarantine times. so now we're going to move on to the show i've watched the whole series through and through and i definitely recommend it and all five of these are very different comparing to the last so the first up is a new one which everybody has probably seen this or heard of it which is tiger king this is one that everybody was recommending i watched it because for the simple fact it had animals in it and i love animals i love like animals like tigers exotic animals etc etc so yeah i did actually end up feeling a little bit bad for joe exotic yeah he was a bit um he's very entertaining very funny you can laugh at him and everything like that i also really like the segment that they did on carol baskin which is the person that he's fighting with back and forth in the actual documentary um about her husband going missing her husband as a millionaire that went missing people think that she fed him to the tigers i don't know if that's true it's a possibility um i would hope that the cops probably can go over there and maybe dig up her property if they were smart i don't know why they didn't do the investigation right in the first place probably because her brother was an actual um sheriff i believe yeah don't quote me watch the documentary to find out but yeah and i heard they had new evidence in that case somewhere on youtube but definitely check that out tiger king i would give that a 9.5 out of 10 very shocking i knew nothing about this at all which is strange for me because i know a lot of things about animals like i said but i had no idea about this so i'm glad i watched it i watched the whole series in one day 
and it was really entertaining for sure. next up is one of my all-time favorites it is vampire diaries it's about a girl named elena falling for vampire favorite characters out of the show is one of the favorite ones is damon i do like elena but damon is like one of my favorite characters just so like everything i can't even explain but yeah i love that show so much i would even watch the whole series again that's how much i love that it's gonna be um girls incarcerated actually what the title says it is it's about seeing being incarcerated and trying to do good to get out so they can start their life over um it's very eye-opening especially if you don't understand those type of girls and why they act the way they do where it stems from and everything like that so i definitely would recommend you checking that out um, I wish they would make a, another part to the series the other day to see if they did have one, but they did not. It's going to be Gossip Girl. So when this first came out on TV, I never was interested in watching. The show is really, really good. I live in New York, so it's definitely relatable. I'm not rich. So Gossip Girl, I was definitely shocked to find out who Gossip Girl was. I kind of ruined it for myself because I was watching it and I was kind of like, you know, being nosy on the internet. And I came upon some spoilers and they told me who Gossip Girl was before I got to the end of the actual finale so it was kind of like bittersweet because i already knew who it was and i was really shocked to find out who it was so definitely look at that and last but not least is beyond scared straight beyond scared straight is similar to um girls incarcerated it's a jail program for out of control teens they go take a tour to jail and they show their whole experiences like real and raw um the kids start to cry end up cursing but the main point of the whole program is to try to fix them and basically scare them straight so they can stop doing what they're doing. Most of them are doing drugs, they're in a gang. Uh, most of the girls are being like extra promiscuous, a bunch of boys around, smoking weed, etc., etc. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's a really entertaining um, show to watch, especially with the inmates and the way that they act. Of uh, my top 20, I believe it was 20, movies and shows all together. So if you have any other recommendations down below, leave them if I didn't mention them. So I do want to check out what else they have to offer on Netflix. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you found some good movies out of this list that I made and some good shows to watch. And I will see you guys in the next video.